Okay, hello. This is basically uh, the results I've been getting, and what I've done to achieve this is basically the same as what Kurt has done. Uh, I created a new layer and had it. I put a few layer overrides on there, so I made it so that the settings down here, so it's 32 bit. Uh, I turned off final gather because you didn't need it for this particular thing. Uh, created a motion vector pass and then saved it as an open EXR. And in the foreground layer, I. Uh, if I get to it, I turn this down so it's just back to that and it's left at a TIFF file. Um, and then, where am I? And then basically, so if I scrub through this, I've only rendered a few of the frames. You can see the sort of results that I'm getting. Obviously, slightly a bit too much. So I turn it off and eight, maybe. Quite nice. Second, while it does a round preview, I'll pause it. Okay, so here's the round preview. You can see it moving, and if we so if we scrub through it, you can see what it looks like, and you've got all of the. You can change the the amount there. Um, basically what my vo motion vectors look like are like this so I don't know if yours look the same so it's sort of and the way I've done it is I've done it as an open EXR file um, and then I did I downloaded the uh, the plugin I had a couple of it previously, but um, and basically, if I click on here and then it'll give me all the other options for this. And you need to do the X, Y, Z. Can't really see it actually because it's too too long a thing. But it says X, Y, Z. You just about see the end there, um, and that will bring this in. Otherwise, if I leave it to if I put it back to the normal it will go back to a rendered um, image basically so you can see that it's got um, so it doesn't align 100% perfectly like what you've been getting yourself but you can see that because you're supposed to hide it anyway well I think you are um, so you can see the effects that it's having on everything so um, yeah okay cheers